All right, so on to the next step, which is client side. So I'm gonna open up a terminal, terminal here, and what we're gonna do is initialize npm for this project. So I'm gonna do npm init-y, and this is basically just going to create a new packages.json file. So let's see that it's created. It's edit wrote to packages.json. Open it up. All right, there it is. So what we need to do now is add the SignalR client npm package. So I can do that by doing npm install at ASP.NET slash SignalR. So let's give that a run. All right, so it's installed. What we need to do here is we actually need to copy the JavaScript file from the package that's in node modules now to our www root folder. So from ASP.NET, SignalR, dist, browser, SignalR. I'm just gonna copy this file over. Uh, I'm gonna create a lib directory, and then I'm gonna paste that file there because we're gonna be serving this file from our ASP.NET core project. All right, so next step now is actually creating our HTML page, and we're gonna do so by creating a razor page. So I'm just gonna create a folder called pages, add a new file called index.html. We're gonna use the page directive. So what we're gonna put on this page is basically just a little text area with a button that we're gonna wire up, um, and we're gonna wire that up in our JavaScript file that's gonna basically connect to the hub and then send the message there. So I'm just gonna create a text area. That's gonna be our message for our input. And then we're gonna add a button that we will wire up a click event to. So let's call it the send button. And just send message. And what I'm gonna do now is let's add our script tags to the SignalR file that we just copied. So we'll specify that is in the lib directory. And let's also now add a script tag to the file we're about to create next, which is, let's call a message. So we're gonna put that in a JavaScript folder and we'll just call it message.js. That's what's gonna, like I said, connect to the hub and send our message. So I'm gonna do that. We also need another area where we're actually gonna put all the messages that have been sent down from SignalR from the server hub. So there's our basic razor page. All right, so let's create our message.js file. So let's just create a directory in the www root called js. And let's add a new file called message.js. So this file is gonna contain everything that we need to use with our hub. So all the communication to the hub is gonna be in this file. So in order to do that, let's start off with actually creating a connection. So what we can do is use the connection builder, the hub connection builder. So we can create new signalr.hub connection builder. And from there, we can specify with URL. And this is the path that we defined in our startup.cs. So there we called it slash messages. So that's where we're gonna connect to, and then we can call the build method. So now that we have our connection, there's a few things we need to do. First one we'll do is actually have an event handler for a type of message that we're receiving. So in this particular case, we called it receive message. That's what we're sending down from the server. So we can do a connection.on and specify our key, which is receive message, and then it takes a function. So this function is how do you want your client side to react when it receives that particular message? Um, so what we're gonna do here is, because I'm not really using any external libraries for this example, um, and for just common practice, I'm just actually gonna sanitize the data coming in, especially because we're gonna be taking this message and actually adding it to the body of the page into the DOM. So let's just add some sanitizing here, replacing the ampersand, and we'll replace the less than sign, and we'll also replace the greater than. So let's do that. So what we wanna do is we wanna take the message that we're receiving from the server, and we wanna take 
it and add it to the messages div that we add. So we're gonna create a new div for each one that we receive. Let's create that element. And the inner HTML of that element, we're gonna specify the data that we received and let's just add an HR tag. So what we can do is get the original element in our razor page called messages. That's what our div was. And we're gonna append um, our div to this element. So we can do dot append child and we can add our div in there. All right, so the next thing that we can do on our connection is um, also start it, but when you start it, and like many other methods, you can catch errors. So we can do connection.start.catch, and the function there, what we'll just do is take the error and we'll log it to the console.error, so let's do that. And one other thing we can do now with our connection is actually what we need to do is wire up our button. So we have our send button. So let's let's wire up the click event. So document get element by ID. We called that uh, send button. So send button, and we're going to add an event listener for click, and that's going to take our function with the event. So what we're gonna do here is we will get out the message from the text area. So get element by ID. I believe we called the text area message. So there's the value. And now we need to take our connection and invo call invoke. So the invoke method takes the first parameter is what on our hub do we actually wanna call? And that is our send to message uh, to all method. And that's going to be the first parameter. And then subsequently, the rest of them are the parameters to your actual message or method, which is message. And then the same as the start of the connection, we can catch any errors. So let's catch and let's just log to the console.error. And we'll do two string here. Actually, and I almost forgot, we probably want to do a, on the event, we probably want to do a prevent defaults. So let's add that real quick. All right, so that's all the code for our demo. What we've done is we've set up our message hub. We've configured our startup.cs with a signal R. We've created the message.js. We've added our NPM package. We have our razor page. Everything is done. So let's build this now and give it a run in the browser.